I thought it might be kind of cool to show you guys the differences between a pro stock racket and a retail racket. Now for us mere mortals who aren't lucky enough to play on the pro tour or have the connections, we are relegated to buying retail rackets. And in this example, I'm using the, uh, the Wilson K-Blade 98 versus the Wilson H22. Now at first glance, you really can't tell which is which. They both have the same paint job, they're both the same length, but the Wilson K-Blade 98 Retail is on the left, that's the one with the white overgrip, and the Wilson H22 Pro Stock, the one with the black overgrip, is on the right. So let's take a look at some subtle differences. The first thing I noticed was at three and nine o'clock on the frame of the K-Blade 98 Retail. What you'll see is what Wilson called the X-Loop Weave. It is a graphite weave at three and nine o'clock on the frame, which the H22 does not have. Okay, let me bring up another uh, shot of the braided weave here. Uh, hopefully you can see it better. In this picture, it illustrates it a little bit more clear, but um, definitely the H22 does not have that weave, and uh, the K-Blade Retail, the K-Blade 98 Retail has the weave. Okay, so what I want to show you guys here is the beam width of the two rackets. The H22 has a 22 millimeter beam width, and the K-Blade 98 Retail has a 20 millimeter beam width. Now, um, let me just uh, freeze this video right here. Uh, so you can see that um, the H22 has a flat, uh, more of a flat frame, and the uh, K-Blade 98 has a straight beam frame. Um, although, you know, looking at this picture, it's considerably more rounded than the H22. So let's see what these guys weigh. First up is the Wilson K-Blade 98, and it looks like it's coming in at 326 grams put the Wilson H22 Pro Stock on there and that looks like it's coming in at 337 grams there so only 11 grams heavier than the uh, the retail racket not much difference at all the location of that knot as you can see here are the same on both rackets but if you look at the grommets below the knots the separation is a lot further in distance on the Pro Stock than it is on the retail version and this is a very subtle difference. You gotta really be looking for it. And the only reason I know this is because the owner of this Pro Stock is having a difficult time finding replacement grommets for it. All right, let's take a look at what's underneath the butt cap of these rackets here. The first up is the Wilson K-Blade 98. Let's pop over that trap door, see what's underneath it. Okay, looks like it's just foam, which is pretty typical in retail rackets. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Let's take a look at the Wilson H22 Pro Stock racket. Now I was told, let's pop that open, and it, yeah, considerably it's, it's different obviously, but I was told that um, by the owner of this racket that it had uh, come customized for the, uh, for the tour player. So um, I don't know what could have been in there, maybe silicone or, or maybe he liked it that way, who knows. Okay, another cosmetic difference that I noticed was in the throat of the racket. In the Wilson K-Blade 98 retail version, you see the Wilson logo right there with a hologram sticker to its right. In the H22 Pro Stock version, there is no hologram sticker, and it actually looks like the Wilson logos is uh, actually more centered than uh, the K-Blade 98. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my first brief side-by-side -side comparison of a retail racket versus a Pro Stock racket. So before you spend your hard-earned money on a racket that you think your favorite pro is using, it probably isn't because they have their rackets customized to their specs. So you need to go out there and demo rackets. You could demo them at pro shops, online retailers like Tennis Express, Tennis Warehouse, um, a lot of different places to demo rackets. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my videos and checking out my channel. Until next time, later.